In this video, I'm going to show you how adding shortcuts to your dock can completely transform the way you use your iPad and make multitasking so much quicker. Hello and welcome to Everything iPad, the show all about the iPad. Whether you're a complete beginner or a seasoned pro or just like me, somewhere in between, this show is designed to help you get the most out of your device. My name is Matt and on today's show, we're going to be talking about the dock and shortcuts and how when you put them together, magic happens. Um, I'm a big fan of the Shortcuts app and I'm a heavy user of the dock and I really got into recently using Stage Manager on the iPad. Now what I'm about to show you works with Stage Manager. If you don't have Stage Manager, maybe you've got an older iPad and it supports split screen multitasking, it doesn't matter. This, some of the shortcuts I'm gonna show you today absolutely work for you. And what I love, um, about implementing shortcuts is it helps make things like multitasking really, really quick. A little bit of setting up to do. I'm gonna show you my setup today, how I've got my dock laid out and it works for me really, really well in terms of just helping me get stuff done and find the apps I need to find really, really quickly. Now, if you don't know what shortcuts is, it's an app from Apple that is designed to get you to build custom things. They're almost like macros. You run them and things happen on your iPad. It might load a particular app or it might do a function within an app like, I don't know, post a picture to Instagram or something like that without you having to do very much. So it's really good for sort of automation. And the Shortcuts app lets you create these shortcuts and embed icons on your home screen or in your dock to help you get stuff done. So I'm going to take a look at what I've got. I'm going to show you how I've got it set up. And for some of these shortcuts, I'm going to post links in the description below. If you're interested, you can use them too. So this is my home screen. Um, we're going for, again, a quite a minimalist look. But if you have a look at my dock at the bottom, you see on the right hand side, I've got about seven different colored icons and they are all shortcuts to do different things. So let's talk about each one and what they do and why I've got it. Now, the first one, the one in red, is my password manager. Now, I don't use uh, I don't use a paid subscription anymore. I used to, but it was kind of a waste of money. I'm only in the Apple ecosystem. So having my passwords all saved in Safari is works perfectly well for me. And I've just found that using password managers on Mac and iPad and so on, it just feels a bit clunky. And Apple's inbuilt one just works so much quicker for me. Problem is, Apple doesn't have an inbuilt password manager. All your passwords are within the setting that. So what I wanted was a really, really quick way of getting access to my passwords. So with one tap, it opens up the passwords bit of the settings app. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm going to hide a bunch of information here. But believe me, all of my passwords and stuff are there. I can scroll through and find the one I'm looking for. Let's say, for instance, that I need to copy and paste a password into an app and the keyboard which usually shows me um shortcut to enter in the password to paste it in for me it just doesn't come up i need to find it manually for whatever reason i use this password shortcut to help me get quick access to my passwords now the next three um shortcuts i've got the orange the yellow and the green one are all shortcuts that will open up two apps in split view now this will work in split screen view or it will work in stage manager. It will show me two apps at the same time. The first one is for my socials. And what this will do will open up uh, the threads app, which is an iPhone only app at the moment, which is really annoying, but it will open up on the side. And next to that, it's going to open up Ivory for Mastodon, which is the other social networking app I use. And with one tap, both apps are loaded. Really easy to find. Yeah, it just works incredibly well. I don't have to find different apps and put them side by side manually. It just loads up two apps just like that. It's perfect. The shortcut itself lets you determine the width of the two apps as well. So if you want one to be two thirds of the screen, the other to be a third or vice versa, you can swap that. If you want it to be half and half, you can set that up as well. Works really well. And I've got a few other apps that do exactly the same thing. So the yellow one will open up fantastic out and my reminders app next to it and the green one opens up notion and chat gpt and there you go here's my notes my show notes for today's show 
And what I usually do is I have these two apps open at the same time. I'll generate a script and I might paste, paste that into ChatGPT and just ask ChatGPT what it thinks, if it thinks I've missed anything out, any suggestions it might have. It's usually pretty supportive in terms of what I'm doing. So it's just two apps I've got side by side, which help me get things done. The next app is in blue. I'm not going to open this one, um, but because it has some personal information on here. But I have two apps that I use kind of for getting stuff done and journaling. So for journaling, I have Day One, which is my journaling app. I've talked about that on the previous episode of this show. And the other app I also talked about is Streaks, which is sort of a daily checklist for me of things I need to do each day. So both of those apps open side by side. Then we get to the one that's sort of in this sort of dark blue indigo color. And this is a really useful one if you're obsessed about updating your apps. So even though I have automatic app updates turned on, I always find that the App Store app is really slow in actually updating the apps. And when I check, it's usually got apps for several days that haven't been updated. And I'm quite obsessive about having running the latest versions of the apps. So instead of opening up the App Store and tapping your little profile picture in the corner and doing all of that, it skips straight to the bit where you want to do so if I tap on that, can I open the App Store, showing me the latest app updates I can install. Let's give it a go. Yeah, and just like that, it's opened it up and yeah, perfect. I can see what the latest app updates are. I have automatically updated everything before the show, but it lets me get to see the app updates really quickly. It's a bit of a niche one. You probably won't be bothered by installing this one, but I'm someone who likes to just manually go for updates. It's something I like to have. I'm a bit bit sad like that, but it works absolutely perfectly. And then the last shortcut I have is a link to a numbers spreadsheet. I'm not going to open this up again, personal information, but it's very easy to set up links to specific files. So if there's a particular file you used often, you can have that in your dock. You can have it on your home screen really easy through the shortcuts app. So this opens up a numbers spreadsheet which is a two year plan for me. I've got a two year plan for developing this channel and a few other adventures that I'm kind of thinking about for the next couple of years before I turn 40. Um, just to make sure that, you know, I achieve the things I want to, set some goals. So it's really easy to link to uh, a particular file and have that on your desktop or through the dock. So that is a very short episode indeed this is the shortest episode of everything i've had so far but i just wanted to share this video of how it all works for some of these um series shortcut things for the shortcuts app i'm going to put links in the description below so feel free to check those out and i'm really curious to know what um series shortcuts in the shortcuts app do you use let me know in the comments below get involved it's all happening here um, I really like how my dock's set up. It's incredibly handy. It's really good for just kind of getting organized and getting things done. Super happy with it. And uh, hopefully it's inspired you to make better use of the Shortcuts app and implement it into your dock as well. So that's it. But it's a very short episode of everything iPad. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out the shop, all the other stuff. Buymeacoffee.com forward slash buzzkill if you want to make a donation. I'll be back soon with another episode of Everything iPad. Goodbye.